Yat e Dinema Sonishne. Today we are back in Chaco and what I wanted to explain was that we need to make a, an understanding of the definition of Chaco Canyon here. It's understood for the Navajo people, we call our ancestors Nihisaze, Nihisaze. Then, if you're talking about people who are Pueblos, you say Nasaze. So there's a difference there. Nihisaze means our ancestors. Nasaze means Pueblos, or yeah, the Pueblo people. Now. Because of the exploration here, because of the glamour that they wanted, this is the government making this a national park. They saw the Navajo people as loathsome. They were, they were very, uh, they weren't as colorful as the Hopi or, you know, the Jemez Pueblos or whoever. And they said, oh, they're nomadic. They wander everywhere. And they don't even dress right. They're not weavers. They're not this and this and this. And so they decided it was their choice. They did not even look at the Navajos as the builders of this whole. It's the buildings that the Navajo people built, the Diné. And when they felt that it wasn't going to give the exposure needed for, you know, people to come here and to draw people here, because they said, oh, how can Navajos draw people here? So they made up their mind and decided that this was going to be a Pueblo, that it's going to be a Ch Chacoan Pueblo. Now, you've got to remember, they didn't live here. Our textbooks didn't live here. We lived here. I am Dene, and my grandfather has spoken of these same, I think they're sins, he said, to have other people define what you are, what you built, where you lived, and as, as we look back in our oral history, there, this was a prosperous, an amazing place. And I will go forward with that and explain why. But for your information, what was Nihisaze, our old people, and they mix that with Nasaze, which is Pueblo, and created Anasaza. Anasaza is that the fact that these are Pueblos. It's Chacoan. They stripped the Navajo people's culture from here on purpose. And you need to understand what truth is. It's not in the books, and they are not where, like they say, the people who win the wars create the history. This is what happened. So, it needs to be understood. This is Navajo Grandma with some information that you need to take into consideration. All Native American tribes need to. We need to relook at this and finally give what was created here in Chaco Canyon back to the Diné people. Thank you. History Anomalies, 
something that deviates from what man believes is standard, what man believes is normal, or what man believes is expected. Something that doesn't fit with the rest of the pattern, a person or thing different from the usual, not in agreement and therefore not satisfactory. Navajos were considered outliers, detached from the Pueblo plan, the Pueblo story, and the Pueblo exposure. Is history 100% true? History is not an exact science and is mostly written by the victors. So history is biased by definition and you shouldn't expect it to be 100% accurate. What type of sources do historians prefer? Primary sources as evidence to support their historical arguments. How many sources of primary history do we have? Non-written sources, such as oral sources, written sources, ethnography, and linguistic. Primary sources tell us about the time from the perspective of those actually having lived through it, such as my paternal ancestry line, whereupon it was handed down from father to son, father to son, for hundreds of generations on top of Cabazon Peak in the Kiva. The primary source, Shinala Hustine's oral history of his paternal direct line was ignored for the sake of a false Chacoan tourist trap. This is truth. This is Navajo Grandma Hagonia.